Continuing with the Brownells M1 Grand Maintenance Series, in this video, we'll be covering one of the most critical aspects of maintaining this rifle, lubrication. Due to the M1's fairly complicated design and large number of steel parts rubbing against each other during normal operation, proper lubrication is critical to ensure reliable functioning and a long service life. To accomplish this, we'll be using two different lubricants today, Lubriplate, which is a grease, and a regular gun oil like Brake Free. We'll begin with the receiver, as it gets the majority of the grease on these rifles, because that's where most of the friction between parts can be found. Start by applying grease with a brush inside the operating rodway on the left side. Now we can move to the inside of the receiver, where there is a large area in the rear where the bolt rubs along the top. Remember to apply only a thin layer of grease wherever it's needed, as any excess is going to get flung off in all directions as the gun cycles. Next, the bolt lug locking recesses at the front and rear left of the action should receive a light film as well. One last area that definitely gets greased is the underside of the barrel just ahead of the receiver where the op rod rubs against it. You need to keep a lot of grease on this spot as there's a lot of metal to metal contact here. The op rod also gets the same treatment, so we'll coat the inside of the bolt lug recess and brush a little on the retaining lug as well. Now that we have those parts properly greased, we can turn to the trigger group. The areas that get greased here are the hammer hooks and the trigger sear. Once we've completed greasing the trigger, we can break out the oil and apply some to the trigger and hammer pins on the hammer spring assembly. Then we'll wipe off the excess and set it aside. Now is also the time to add a good coat of oil to the op rod spring and follower rod it rides on to help reduce friction and make the action feel smoother. At this point, all the major components have been taken care of. Although a bit of oil or grease should also be applied anywhere you notice the original finish has been rubbed off from contact between moving parts. Once you've inspected the rifle closely and ensured that all wear points have been properly lubricated, the gun is ready for final assembly, and we'll be covering that in our final video. 